So, Prince, can you just explain about this robot? Yeah, this is my robot invention. It's the one that I took to the to the mayor. What the, this? Um, as I said, I made this because the farmers have to do so much work. They have to work throughout the day, and it's a very very tiring job for them. So I thought maybe the robot can do the work. So this is what it looks like. The good things about the the robot is it's less expensive, solar battery powered. It can sow seeds into the ground. It can mow grass. It can show live video with the camera that I'm putting. It allows remote farming, easily programmable, which means you can easily set schedules, and it can sense obstacles with this sensor. It can spray water or spray bio pesticide instead of putting the other chemicals into the plants. So this is your Lego block, right? Which yeah. Uh, so this I got it from the Lego Boost. I won the Lego Boost to actually from the Chicago Toy and Game Fair after I got this best best presentation award from the young the Chicago Toy and Game Fair best presentation award. So with that, they gave a big bag of toys, and this is the Lego Boost is one of them. So I took that and I used it the Lego Boost kit to make this. So, if you want to see it working, you can run this code. First, I'm going to turn it on. Okay. So it has to be blue light to means it connected. So this one you can actually drive it to where you want it to go. It actually drives remotely from anywhere around the world. And if you click this, it will go forward. Mm -hmm. It'll, it it just so put seeds down and pick the seeds up, and then it's just going to keep putting the seeds down, and then it will keep putting more and more seeds. And see, I made this tip, which will make like a line or in the soil, it will put like a line, and this will put seeds in that line. So it will make the line, and then as it's making the line, it will put the seeds one by one. So, <clears throat> this programming language, right? I mean, like when you say it can be controlled by anywhere. Mm. So, what language? I mean, like how did you code it? It's you coded it. You, you yeah, I coded it all by myself because it comes with the app to code it actually. So, it's very simple coding blocks that it uses. So, it's like this block is to control it around. This block means it. if I click the button, it will do all these things. And if it senses an obstacle, it will go around the obstacle. So, it's very basic coding. So, they coded the blocks to do the code. Okay. So, you've used that. And uh, how about this boost stuff? So, it's a that you have to construct it or it is by default a toy which actually moves? It comes with um, it comes with all the pieces, so you just have to create it by yourself because it comes with motors and everything. So you make it by yourself and you connect the motors and everything. After you do that, you can put the code in. Since if after you connect the wiring, then you can actually um, tell it what to do. Like for the motor, motor spin. Like tell the mo you can make the motor spin or this obstacle sensor when it senses something within say five centimeters go around it so it it's it's easy it's pretty easy to program it. so this particular thing now uh, after you have uh, demonstrated it did someone actually approach you saying that they go to they're ready to invest in this and they did they take the prototype did so that in real time they when uh, yeah so the unt people they're actually uh, helping me in their car, giving me resources. They're actually helping us with patenting and it and trying to make it a real product. Okay, so there are people who are working yes. with it. So this is one equipment which does all those uh, mm -hmm. things which you have explained. Yeah. Okay. And how much? How many days did it take for you to build this entire? This one it took, took uh, one month and it uh, programming took at least like three or four days. Okay. So on a whole, this is a uh, one and a half months yeah. product. Yes. Good man. So let's let's move on to the next one. Yes. That's it, or did I miss anything about no, this robot? No, I didn't miss anything. So, Prince, that was your robot, right? Now, in this, if I'm not wrong, is the Happy Family Smart app, yeah. right? Yes. So I this is the one I took to the Chicago Toy and Game Fair. So I made the 
I made the app, the board game, and I also made this video game. So the app, we made the working prototype, and we're working on putting it into the App Store and Android. So, uh, so then we have this video game. I made the video game with audio, so also our visually impaired friends can also play with the no help. So oh, so this is both for visually impaired as well as normal. Good. Okay, so how you play is you will first roll the dice by clicking the space bar and it will give you two. You got two. Move two steps It will actually move it for you. So. You got 20 points and your task is Fortnite dance. So it, it's, it will give you some funny tasks and it will give you some tasks to do like funny activities or family activities like that. So. That one uh, you have to, when you say that that's an uh, what what's uh, that's a video game or that's an app which one? This one is the video game. This one's the app. Okay, so the video game. What language did you use to code it? Uh, I use Scratch. You used Scratch for yeah, coding. Yeah. So it. here it shows. See if you go see inside, it shows all the codes that I used for the different things. So here I only use two blocks here and like. See, like for if every different thing you have to do, the different programming and all, right? So mm -hmm. that's what we did, and I just had to co code every single thing here. So yeah. how 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 did you int uh, develop this interest of learning coding, and it's purely because of your uh, father and mother uh, technology yeah. background? Yeah. So I wanted to make my board game, and after I came up with this board game, I'm like. I wanted to take it further uh, and I made it into a video game so my parents gave me uh, the technology that they thought is easiest for me and will work best and they came found in scratch and they said this will be pretty easy for you and they so this was this board game an idea which was developed from uh, the monopoly or the business game or um, I wanted to make my own video game, so I just included some cards and points and the dice, so I could actually be like a real uh, board game. Okay. This one's. And what what when you say family activities, what all did you put in that? Um, for this one, uh, um, some of them I put in was like sing a song. Um, let's find one. So. So it is like uh, give, um, like tell a poem or like like it'll tell family activities like um, to do like family activities like go to a walk, walk in the park, tell a joke, family group hug, say I love you to one person. So it gives like different family activities like talk about your vacation memory and thank one person, say sorry to one person. This is actually very important these days, right? Because yeah. uh, the family time is getting reduced. Yeah. So that's when you observe this, or no? I don't think so. Family time for you is more. Yeah. It, it's because of your friends. Did some of your friends complain about it? No, not really. I wanted to just help people that might have lots of like, stress and like stress in in anxiety problems to keep them um, emotionally and physically. Um, yeah, choti mu badi baat like uh, <laughs> that's that's good, man. And the rules and regulations. So the, the you have written the set of rules. Uh, yeah, so it yes. is pre-written by you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can tell me few. 
Um, like whenever I did, what I did was um, when I clicked this um, flag one, it will tell all the rules and instructions before you start the game. So when you click this, it will. Let's review the rules and instructions. The one we had at the beginning is the. Oh. Each player mm -hmm. takes a turn. Youngest goes first. Each time player rolls the dice, they will move that many steps. Your score becomes the point on the landing square. You must perform a task each time you roll the dice. The first one to reach stop. Will and the then, if you know all the rules, you can just Where's click school? this one, and it'll start playing. It'll start playing. Mm -hmm. Good man, and this is this is uh, where where did you actually demonstrate uh, this one? This was for which uh, Chicago Twin Game Fair. Chicago. Chicago, and that's where you won your boost. Uh, this uh, thing. Yes, in the best presentation award. Oh, that's good man. Yes. Yeah, so this is your sneeze pods, right? Yes, which you demonstrated. Yes, the hair and challenge. Uh huh. So this is the sneeze pods, the division um four to eight years group. So last year is the when I did this when I was eight years old. So. The sneeze pod, it's like to prevent the spread of germs. Um, I don't, I think I have one in here. So, and like they will come. I made these little um, uh, caricature cases so encourage kids to keep themselves um healthy and hygienic. So here's one of them. This, this is one version that they look like. Um, so like this is one of the adult version because it doesn't have the characters, but the the kids version will have like Spider Man tissues and all those. So what what you, how it works is you can blow your nose into this pocket here, so you can blow your nose. Then you can wipe your nose on this tissue. Then you can tuck this tissue in so it like covers all the yucky stuff, and then you can use it again and then wipe your nose and then you can tuck it in again so that all the germs are covered and you can throw it in the trash can without the germs spreading. So, I mean, like, so this is, uh, does it have any, uh, did you, the, the tissue, did you dip any chemical, did you put any chemicals in it or um, it's a normal tissue and you just came up with this idea? Yeah, it's just a normal tissue but the, where you wipe your nose it has like a moisture, like moisturizer like there. Okay, so this mo what yeah. type of moisturizer can you tell us? Um, I, don't, I don't know what kind of moisturizer, but we just um, put the moisturizer there. So this is actually the traveling case yeah. that you can get. It comes with two bottles in it. So one bottle is for the is coconut oil, like a no natural moisturizer for your nose if you get rashes because you keep on using it. And then the other one is hand sanitizer because if you're going on tr camping trips or something, you don't have water to wash your hands and anything, right? And it will also save the water. So this is again a prototype. And are, prototype, are you, yeah. you You are actually... Uh, who is helping out to get a present um, uh, for this? The UNT. Is, it's helping with all my things. All, 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 all of them, yes. And then have you, I know that uh, I should not ask you this thing, but is it like how, how much are you planning to put it in market for? One one uh, sneeze pod with the moisturizing kit for this one is maybe like one or two dollars per thing. So it's it's cost effective for the people who wants to like fifty cents yeah. to one dollar. <laughs> I don't know. No worries. Let let let's leave the business. Yeah. yeah so this is one of my first inventions. It was my very first one that I made when I was six, and it's my first YouTube video too. From it's called it's called a spectroscope and it takes light and it turns it into element from the periodic table. So what you do is I made this little slit or I made a slit here and I made a square box here and I used the CD and I cut here so I can put the CD in so the light will shine and it will put a different like pattern on here when you look through but it will go onto the CD and you can see a different pattern. So if if you see a different light pattern or a different color pattern, like right now it's showing blue, green, yellow, red, orange, and purple. So that's one of the elements of the periodic table. And if you go and you can match the elements with the periodic table from the different um, light uh, order. So like the different order of the 
colors makes a different element of the periodic table. So, Prince, uh, can you just tell us about, show us all your, I, I do see many awards and recognitions mm -hmm. and all your stuff, so can you just uh, tell us about those? So, this is a picture of me from the International Paradigm Challenge. That's me right there. And then this is me on the newspaper. Elementary students surprised with full ride to UNT. So this is the Tantix um, um, award. This is a state recognition that I got. And then here's the proclamation I got from the mayor. And also here, this is from the uh, new the Chicago Toy and Game Fair. So when I win one, I got a trip to New York Toy Fair. So here it says trip to New York Toy Fair right here. And so, yeah, those are some of my awards. And then over here is my trophy from the, uh, the Chicago Toy and Game Fair, the trophy that I got from for the Best Presentation Award. So those are all my awards. And the, 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 what, what's set that you're working on now currently? Can you tell us about um, that? Right now I'm working on uh, a firebot. It, this robot can go in and when they have the fires and it will have like a protective dome around it so the fire can like hit it or damage it or, so, or so whatever. So what it, here, so here I, what I did was I put this plate and here it's what it does is like if you need to put water there so if it's like too, um, too much like fire and you need water. So this one will have water and like the sprinkler systems, right? What it will do is it will go around and it will just put the, sprinkle, the sprinkle the water. And then we are all, we also attached a camera to it. So in there will be a little hole for the camera in the, the shell kind of thing. It will have a little hole for the camera and a little hole for the water to come out. Yeah, okay. So it's again uh, remote controlled and uh, it's, it's uh, similar to uh, a drone type. Kind of, yeah. A kind of drone where yeah, like where the drone will like drop it there near the building and then it can do its job. And how, uh, when you say this is a fire bot, how much uh, water is it going to carry? Uh, how are you going to build a tank? Um, we will build a very lightweight tank, which, but it will only it will spray like, like not so much water. I mean, it will spray the water. I mean, like, we could connect it to the water hose, right? And it will get the water supply, but it will only go a certain distance. Uh, okay. Yeah. So those all you are still working yeah, on? Yeah, we're right? still working on it. It's a work in progress. We're not done with it yet. So this is my most current uh, invention that we're working and, on. And when are you planning to display it? Uh, I mean, like, for what challenge are you preparing? Uh, for what competition are you preparing? This? We, we don't have it yet. As I said, we first tried to build the working prototype, then we submit it to the challenges, right? Uh, so. Okay, I thought you, you were actually, you had that goal of meeting the president. Right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. This so this one, one is like, we might be using this for the environmental youth protection, uh, uh, the PIA, PIA awards, I think. PIA awards. Um, so we might be using it for that one because it's a protection award, right? So it might work, but it's environmental, so we don't know if it's going to work. If, 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 if. So thanks, Prince.